the one thing every entrepreneur needs to start doing. And I guarantee it, you probably aren't doing it right now. Hey, Mark Nelson here, and I'm going to have a great show for you today. See, I wasn't doing this either. Just because of the way the world is. But the one thing that you need to start doing and you need to start putting together is a vision. See, when I talk to people, if I ask them, well, what do you want? They really don't know. But if I ask them, what do you don't want? Oh my gosh, I don't want it to rain. I don't want to lose money. I don't want Donald Trump. I don't want Biden. I don't want whatever. I don't want bad health. I don't want to be in this marriage right now. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to... You see what I'm getting at? See, people notoriously go for the negative. But if I ask them, well, what do you want? They go, wow. I've never thought of that. See, people don't have a vision put together. So I'm going to challenge you today for you to make your vision. Now, is making a vision hard? No, to tell you the truth, it's actually kind of fun. What you need to do is sit down with a piece of paper and write on top right now, what do I want? So I'm going to ask you some things. What do you want? What do you want to happen in your life in the next 30 days? Write it down. What do you want to happen in your life in the next 90 days? Now, when you're answering this, relationships, your house, your lifestyle, money, career, think of all those things. And then what I want you to do is sit down, and this is really a good one. What do you want to be happening in your life one year from today? One year from today. The perfect day for you. See, I have my perfect day. I know what I want to happen. Now, some people, when you say, well, a vision is okay, but that stuff never works. Baloney. And a better word for it is BS. In Sorry, that's just... <laughs> I don't go any rougher than that, whether that's rough or not. But I, it's BS because it's happened in my life. See, it's happened early in my life, in high school. Now, did everything happen that I wanted? No, but everything that I really thought of happening did. Now, there are lessons learned along the way. Not everything worked out perfect. But I've been married for 38 years to a girl that I envisioned myself seeing, being with. When I first met her at 18. No, I didn't see her again until we were 27. And I got married to her when we were 29. When I was 29. We had our first child when we were 31. We had our second child when we were 33. And then we kind of settled in life. You know, we just had our family kind of settle. We didn't think about visions. We just kind of, things just happened. But then, our kids moved away. They went to college. Right? Our daughter moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, and we lived up in northwestern Wisconsin. Cold. I was teaching. I, I was living day to day. I loved it. I was making money. But we never saw our daughter, maybe twice a year. And when guess what? When she came home, she wanted to see her friends. Can you imagine that? Not wanting to be by her parents. Well, then our son moved to Savannah, Georgia. And then he ended up moving to Knoxville, Tennessee. And then my wife and I started envisioning. Our vision was that we lived by our kids within 10 minutes of our kids. And there was no way it was going to happen. But we kept saying it, kept seeing it happening, kept feeling it. And guess what? The world changed. And it happened. And we moved down towards Knoxville, Tennessee. And we were within 10 minutes of our kids. On stinking believable. Now the same thing is happening to me in my career. See, I'm visioning where we're at. I'm visioning the people that I'm helping. So I want you to sit down. And the first one you do, 
whether you call them I am statements or you manifest, but you can manifest. What I want you to do is write down what do you want in your life in one year, the perfect day in your life in one year. Sit down, get quiet, and write. And then I want you to do the same thing for five years. Go five years out. What do you want to be happening in your life in five years? Where do you want to be living? What kind of relationship do you want to be? What kind of income do you want to be making? What kind of car do you want to be driving? Do you want a family? Do you want kids? Do you want to be traveling the world? Do you want to have a business? See, all of that goes into this. I want you to take this serious and write it down. Because it works. And again, whether you call it manifesting, whether you call it I am statements or affirmations or visioning, it all works. So you've got to start putting these thoughts in your mind daily. Now the key thing is, see, and I did this too. I wrote mine out and I never thought about it again until we started wanting to live by our kids. Well, I thought about my wife for a long time because she was one good looking. No, I'm just, <laughs> I really did. It, it's, uh, I've told Nancy this a lot. It, it's, I thought about going out with her and her being my wife for so, it, it didn't even make sense. I barely knew her. But she was the girl that I wanted to be with. And she is. 38 years. Pretty cool, huh? We live where we want to live. We have, we live in an RV. Couldn't afford an RV. Couldn't, I shouldn't say it. We live on the lake. We couldn't afford being on a lake. And still we started envisioning. So guess what we did? We bought an RV. One of 16 spots. We live in a lake. 20 yards away. We're there all the time. I walk down a little walk and I'm in the water. I go take my pontoon out and enjoy my pontoon. So if you've seen videos of me, see, I put that in place. So when you do your vision, then what I want you to do is put it in the air where you read it every day. Maybe it's just a short little statement. Maybe it, it's a full page, but read it. Get it into your mind. Think about it. See, our mind's a powerful thing, powerful thing. And we, you, should take advantage of it. Whether people call it meditating or what, get quiet and read your vision. Think about your vision. Let your subconscious mind and the universe start taking place. And get ready, because it's going to happen. So, hey. I got some great things going on. I want you to write your vision. Now, I don't know if your vision is to do a business or not, but a vision can be a really good thing. A business can be a really good thing. A side hustle can be a really good thing. In the description below, I'm going to put a link for a quiz I made, which is called Which Side Hustle is Right for You? It'll take you about a minute to finish and put things in place thinking about where you're going to be. So check out the link below in the description. It's going to be marknelsononline.com forward slash quiz. marknelsononline.com forward slash quiz. And go take that quiz and see where you're at. Hey, y'all take care. Love you. Write down your vision. Reach out to me. Tell me what your vision is. Tell me what you're going to be doing in 90 days. Tell me what you're going to be doing in a year. And then better yet, tell me what you're going to be doing in five years. Y'all take care.